Hello everyone and welcome once again to Excel in 5 minutes tutorial series. So in this video we are going to be talking about data validation. So data validation is a way to keep your Excel sheets in order. What do I mean by that? Sometimes you may want a specific range of things that your user should be able to impute into a particular cell or maybe you just don't want them to impute a, a float of number with a decimal number maybe what you want is just an, a whole number so that is the essence of data validation it helps to protect yourself so let's say i want this particular cell to maybe specify the number of people that i want in an event say five people i won't want anybody to go into the same cell and enter say 5.7 we don't have 0 0.7 7 person it's impossible because it's either you're there or you're not so basically that's just what data validation is all about so it helps you to it helps to give you more control on your excel sheets how do we implement data validation come under your data tab once again and straight to data validation click on it and here you have a list of settings of all you can allow in your cell so currently this particular cell high 7 is chosen so this is where the validation will be carried out you can also select more than one cell if you want to validate more than a cell once you select the cells the validation will be applied to it so clicking on this drop down button you can see a list of different things that you can validate your data on if you want just all numbers if you want decimals if you want a list as a list of things if you want just dates if you want time text length custom now if you also want any of these things maybe you want a range of all number or you want a range of dates maybe from february to march of a particular year you can also do do this so for example if i choose dates this becomes enabled so i can click on it so if i want maybe between this date and this date if i want just um not equal to this date if i want maybe greater than this particular date i can set it so that's that is a brief overview of how validation works so let's just carry out a very quick example let me set this to whole number so i want it between 0 and 10 click ok now if you come here into this cell try to enter a number between 0 and 10 it gives you your exact value 5 now try to go beyond these restrictions now I'm going to 15. You see, Excel gives me an error. So it helps to protect yourself so that you don't put a value that will disrupt all your formulas in a way. So that is exactly what data validation do. So in subsequent videos, you are going to be looking further into how we can use data validation to enhance our work in Excel. Thank you very much for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.